So here we are going to start another important topic of data science, which is data visualization. In this topic, uh, we are going to learn how can how we can visualize our data in the form of charts, graphs, or animations. So before starting with data analysis, uh, you need to learn data visualization. So what is data visualization? So, uh, data visualization is a way of representing data or information in the form of charts, graph, or animation. Yes, you can visualize your raw data in the form of charts, graph, and animation. So why it's important? It helps people to see and interact with that data with better understandings. For example, uh, you are a data analyst and you are working from years. It is easy for you to understand raw data like what type of things it's giving to us, what type of important patterns embedded inside this data. But if you are a non-technical person, uh, it is not easy for you. Uh, it's like impossible type of thing to extract important information from that data. So for this purpose, uh, what you are doing, you are just re uh, representing a way of representation in which data is represented in different forms, like uh, different bar charts, uh, different plots or pie charts. Uh, so uh, by using different, uh, different types of charts and graphs, you are going to represent this data to the user. So what it's doing, it is making easy for a non-technical person to understand its raw data. And uh, what it is doing, it, in, it is bringing technical and non-technical person on the same platform where they can easily understand what data is doing inside it. For doing uh, data and visualization in our Python, we have different types of libraries available that are providing different types of functionalities to do data visualization. Uh, there are uh, three mainly using uh, libraries that we have available in the Python, which is uh, one of uh, them is matplotlib, and second is Seaborn, and third is Plotly. So now we are going to start with matplotlib Python library, which is available for doing data visualization. What is matplotlib actually? It is an open source Python library mainly used for data visualization. With the numerical extension NumPy, it provides object-oriented API for abandoning graphs and plots inside applications using general purpose GUI kit. So what is it actually doing in Python? So first of all, uh, it is going to do data visualization, the topic for which we are using it. So it is a extension of NumPy, numerical Python. As I told you in Pandas, it is also an extension of NumPy and numerical Python in which we are using different types of uh, op operations that we are using in NumPy, but also we are using that functions in Pandas just because of its NumPy. Like Pandas, it is also providing some functionalities of numerical Python in matplotlib also. In the matplotlib are cross-platform data visualization and graphical plotting library for Python. So uh, in this matplotlib, what we are actually doing, we are just using it to plot the graphs or charts across the whole data visualization by using different techniques available in matplotlib. So if you are a developer and you want some type of charts or graphs inside your application, you can also use the application program interface which is APIs available for matplotlibs. You can easily embed your plots in your GUI applications by just using general purpose use, uh, GUI kits available in matplotlib. So let's move toward our uh, console and set up our matplotlib environment to do some data visualization. As everyone know, before starting at working in any library in Python, first of all, you need to import the package inside your program. So here, uh, for that purpose, first of all, we will import our library by using just import keyword 
After that, we are going to put the name of our library, which is matplotlib. Why? So for that, I am using a shorthand key, which is mpl, the shortcut for matplotlib. So here, here we go. First of all, we will import our matplotlib library. So inside this matplotlib, we have a pyplot extension, which we can easily import like import mat import mat plot lib here we go dot pi let's search the pi plot here we have a module named pi plot which we are going to uh, like this the shorthand for this mat plot lib pi plot is going to be plt for the whole project we are going to execute in this video so let's execute it and here we go and it's running and yes it is completed so this is how you can uh, build your environment for developing a data visualization project in your uh, id your editor first of all uh, we need to set the style for our graphs or plots that we are going to plot inside this id to check what type of plots, uh, styles of the plots that uh, Matplotlib is uh, supporting inside it, uh, first of all, I'm going to comment here, plot styles, right? So a uh, Matplotlib library have many type of different styles that uh, is supported for different plots. So for uh, extracting the information about the plots inside our a matplotlib we are just going to import the matplotlib uh, sorry uh, i'm from um, i'm importing matplotlib from import sty let's hit tab and here we go we have style so we have successfully imported styles from our matplotlib this is another way if you want to import individual item or individual methods from your uh, in library, you can simply write from matplotlib what it is telling. I'm going inside the matplotlib and from matplotlib, I'm not importing the whole things from it. I am just want to import a style module, a function available inside this library. And I'm just going to use this style not the whole matplotlib this is the meaning of this whole line like from matplotlib from matplotlib i'm just importing style here so here we go i'm going to print all the style available inside our matplotlib for example here uh, plt dot style dot available right here we go and let's hit enter here see uh, we have different type of styles available for our plot styles in matplotlib uh, you can see we have classic test path mpl gallery and we have seabone paste one seabone poster seabone talk seabone ticks uh, we ha have different types of seabone styles also available in our matplotlib right so before starting with matplotlib uh, we need to uh, learn different types of plot available inside our matplotlib. In matplotlib, we have uh, collectively five different types of plots available inside matplotlib. If you have any knowledge about stat or graphs, you can easily understand that for every purpose, you need a unique type of graphs. For example, you have different types of two data sets one is of different type and one is of different type so uh, it might be possible in your graphing techniques one plot is not going to support to plot a data set two like we have data uh, set one and data set two and we have graph one and graph two graph one is not going to support the visualization of data set two and that uh, graph two is not going to support the visualization of data set one for that purpose, uh, we are going to use different types of graphing techniques to graph our plots inside Matplotlib. For first of all, we have basic type of plots available inside 
our matplotlib in which uh, we have the plot, uh, the line, simple line plot, the scatter plot, the bar plot, the stem plot, the step plot, a uh, fill between, and after that we have stack plot. It totally support up to seven graphs in our basic plotting in matplotlib. After that, we have different uh, plots of plot of array and fill. This is another type or you can say category for plotting in matplotlib. Here we can uh, have different types of graph available like we also heard seven different graphs supported uh, with matplotlib uh, in which we have im sure, I am sure, right? And after that we have a particular color mesh, right? After that we have contour, uh, contour F, we have bars, we have query, and after that we have stream plot also. Stream plot, you can uh, you can imagine it like you are watching a movie of Tornado, and uh, most of the time you are looking a map in which wind are continuously moving from one side to another side and making some circles inside it. It is also an example of stream plot inside that movies as well. <laughs> So after that we have some statical plots in which we have histogram, our box plot, error bar, uh, and after that we have after that we have even plot his 2D and hex bin and pi plot. So these are the all the types of the statical plots available inside our matplotlib. And after that we have unstructured coordinates, right? So in this we have different types of plots also available in matplotlib. Uh, the few types of them are counter f, tri, tri p color and tri plot. So these are the four different types of unstructured coordinates plot we have available inside our matplotlib. And at the last we also have 3D plots inside our matplotlib. Yes, it also supports 3D plots inside the matplotlib. And we have different five types of plots available inside matplotlib of 3D type, which is 3D scatter plot, 3D surface, triangular 3D surface, 3D voxel, and after that we have 3D wireframe plot. So these are the different plots that we have available inside of matplotlib. It is collect uh, collectively equal to like 30 plus graph, 30 to 35 uh, in between that available inside our matplotlib, right? For most commonly uh, counting for two days, it is 31 supported inside the matplotlib. In future, they can vary according to their demand. They can also adding new type of graph or removing some older graphs that are not any more useful so the quantity can be varied by their updates. To plot our first simple line plot inside our matplotlib. So what is simple line plot? It is the most easiest plotting technique used in data science and machine learning. It represents the relationship between two variables. Yes, now for example, you have a variable x and regard uh, regarding this you want to uh, also print the result like uh, for example uh, you have an array 1 2 3 4 you want to pull uh, apply the sign operation on this array after applying the sign operation you want to check the relationship between two variables like what type of difference is occurring inside it and you can simply know it by using line plot inside our matplotlib so get start with it and let's check how we can draw our first plot inside matplotlib. Before starting it, as I told you, need, you need to build your environment. As here, we have already imported our matplotlib and your pyplot here as plt, right? So after that, uh, we have checked about different types of plot style available inside our matplotlib from which we can easily use any type of style that we want to be used in our plots to be displayed on our console, right? Our plot to the classic. So how we can set it? First of all, you need to port plt, which is a shorthand for the matplotlib pyplot, right? 
So after that, I'm just going to use the dot operator and after that I will type the type unless we have a module of type in which I'm going to use another method which is of a use method like what type of style you are going to use for our pipe loads. You are going to put the name of the style that you want to use for your class. For this purpose we are just going to use this classic type so let's put it here like that so here we have successfully changed our pipe plot type into the classic type, classic type right first let's add some headings so uh, if, if you want to add the heading inside your uh, jupyter lab book how you can do that uh, you can see these curly braces you need to just simply click here and write a number like one two three four like I'm going to put here the two and what else I'm going to write here it will be converted into our heading uh, you can also change the number of hashes like uh, you are going to add one more and it is going to decrease the size of your uh, heading just like that we have four hashes here and the if you are putting the single hash you will get the highest uh, sized um, Heading. We are just using the three hashes here and after that we are going to plot a simple line plot inside our this project. So uh, here we have successfully uh, built our environment. What if you want to do it in a single line? You can also do that here just like that. I'm going to use a magical function of matplotlib inside here in line right so here we go and after that we will import our library like that for just for your references and going to import matplotlib dot plot here and after that I'm going to use a, a shorthand keyword for that plt and in the same line a same uh, block I'm also using some styling techniques like plot dot style dot use what we are going to use we are just going to use the classic style here right and as I told you in our matplotlib it is also associated with the numpy so we need some numpy function inside it for doing the draw graphical stuffs inside it to get some data the numpy arrays so we are also going to import our numpy here what we are going to do just importing numpy as the shorthand use np here and let's execute it so here uh, what we are doing first of all I'm going to use a magical function here what it is uh, doing here it will plot our plots in a better way inside our IDE like if you are uh, using uh, PyCharm or VS Code uh, what is uh, happening in there whenever we are going to plot it is going to execute into a uh, Chrome's or any other browsers uh, an, in a new tab uh, like uh, I'm plotting here uh, just to example uh, like here we have successfully executed yes we have successfully executed and I'm going to plot my first plot like the plot one which is going to be equal plt dot figure right hit tap and here we go and after that we have successfully created a figure here with the name of the plot one and here I'm going to create another keyword like a which is going to be equal the plot dot axis so what we are doing inside here first of all we are going to make a figure the instant class for our plot like what it is doing it will create a figure like uh, it will decide the area for plotting and after that we are using axis uh, which is going to put the x and y axis inside this figure and let's uh, execute and check what we are getting inside here 
and it is keep executing and we have the error like plot sorry uh, we need to use plt so let's execute it again and here we go and we have a plot a image in which uh, we can see we have an area in that area we have x and y axis decides uh, decided inside it so uh, what if we change the type of uh, the style of the graph let me copy another type here like i'm going to use the mm, classic bmc pastor right let's copy it from it and after that i'm going to put inside in there and let's execute the same block uh, as it is already using so let me execute it again and what the change is happening inside uh, there is no change inside it uh, let me put uh, take it outside of this to the second block here and after that uh, we can see we have a little bit difference in our plot here now let's take another type like the seaborn paper copy it from here and after that i'm going to put inside this the style just like that and let's execute it and now we have a different type of graph available here and let's take another thing like dark background and what it is going to return us let's check it and uh, here we go and i need to put the value here and after that you can see we have a graph with a dark background inside it so let's move it into default like the classic case here a classic uh, here we go classic and let's execute it and we are getting the classic type of graph inside our matplotlib a graph or a plot inside the matplotlib first of all you need to provide the environment for plotting inside it just like that we are providing the figure and axis here uh, in this uh, figure and axis we are going to put our information that we want to be plotted inside our this plot so first of all uh, let's suppose i'm going to use a numpy function like lane space by using which i will generate our array a numpy array on this numpy array i'm going to just put the sign method available inside our numpy the sign theta as you can uh, know so uh, after that uh, we will compare the value that we get after implanting sin x on the data set so let's get start with it first of all you need to build the environment for it uh, generally we are uh, using the fig keyword or the access keyword for the shorthand purpose of the figure and access so let's do it like if i'm just going to use the figure and which is going to be equal plt dot figure here we go we have figure method inside there and after that let me zoom uh, after that we have axis in which i'm going to declare the dot axis just like that so by this we have successfully implanted our figure in that line what it is drawing it is just plotting that plot that we have already plotted here so in this plot uh, you can do any operation inside there let me execute it and we have created this way right so after that uh, what you can do uh, you can generate our array by using the lane space method present inside our numpy so here i'm just going to take array with the name a which is going to be equal np dot learn space function here and what this function is doing it is just taking few values like the start value the stop value the value like uh, i'm going to put the start as zero and stop as 50 and it well, here uh, we can uh, put the number uh, like the how many values you want to get from this function so here by default is 50 and endpoint and rest step and these are different attributes of uh, parameters we have inside this function 
So here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the value from 0 to 10. And after that, I want how many values I want inside it. I'm just getting the 100 of it. Like, and after that, I want to plot this uh, all the values inside this plot by applying the sine operation by using numpy on this specific array that we have typed here right so after that uh, let's execute it and the way here we have a axis uh, every time you are going to plot it you need to use this function which is like plt dot axis here with a shorthand a axis right after that i'm just going to use a dot operator and after it i will call the plot function available uh, available inside it just like that we have the plot function available in there and use these parentheses and let's check what type of things that we can put inside it it will take the arguments which is keyword arguments the scale x the scale y the data and non keyword arguments also it is taking inside it for for the beginning purposes i'm just want to tell you that uh, you can firstly put your data at here we are just going to take a simple array by using the linspace function present in numpy but you can also put your whole data set in there uh, like you can also put a individual column from that data set as i told you inside panda how you can access a single column from your whole data set so after that here i am going to put the variable name of our data set like the data set and after that of uh, there i uh, what i want the relationship between two things in pipe uh, in line plot first thing is data our original data which is a and after that uh, what type of thing we want to put uh, assign i uh, want to assign uh, against it I am going to use the numpy function which is of sign as you know uh, here we have the sign and after that in this function I am going to put the value or the data of which I want the sign uh, implanted on that. What I am doing here first of all I am putting the variable a which is containing the whole array which is generated using this function right and after that of the relay I'm going to find the relationship of this data with the sign of the same data it is simply uh, applying the sign operator on this array which is a it will uh, going to uh, find the sign theta of this function and going to plot our plot in this figure just like just here Here and, and let me show what uh, our array is containing inside it and here we have an array up to 100 uh, values from 0 to 10 and what it is drawing uh, let me zoom out it to show you clearly what it is actually doing everyone know the sign of 0 is 0 it is uh, very from minus 1 to 1 and as it is finding the sign of each value present inside the array we have 0 0 0.1 0 0 0 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and so on up to the 10 so we have the hundred values available inside this array and it is applying the sign function on each value the result it is getting it is just planting that result inside this graph as you can see as our values are increasing the sign results is also going to be increasing when the value uh, reach at the one like here uh, we have 1.01 1 .01. Uh, from that point it is going downside just like that and uh, let's uh, check the sign uh, apply the sign on this a uh, like i'm going to print it into b is equal to let me zoom it so b is equal to uh, np dot sign and here i'm just putting a inside it and let me execute it and check what we have inside the b as you can see our values are changed 
fit that as first we have zero yes we have zero after that we have 0 0.100 inside it and what inside there we have 0 0.10010 and the values are changing like after applying the sign in there our values are keep continuously changing in there and here we have the minus like negative values also available here that we can see in plot here that zeroth line the below this zero line we all the values having minus in there like these all the values are minus values right uh, just you can see here yes here we go so how you can do that using just plot function available inside our matplotlib so here we are going to do the plotting multiple lines in single plot right so here uh, we will look how we can plot the multiple lines inside the single plot as you can see we have only a single line inside a single plot and what if you want to print the multiple lines inside it and how you can do that as we have uh, initially uh, built it the uh, environment for printing our plots so we don't need to declare it again here why we are just going to use the sign and cause function available inside our numpy so here we go we have the plot first of all and after that we have plot function available inside it and I, as I told you you are going to provide few information in it so first of all I'm going to put the a which is the data of the numpy array we have generated by using lang function inside the numpy so after that i'm just going to use the np dot sign for this data let have a go and after that i'm going to use an other plt dot plot function in here and here i'm providing the simple data which we have already generated using the numpy so after that I'm just going to use the numpy.cause function here and I'm going to pass the data on which I want to apply the cause function here. Just here we go and after that we are using the semicolon to identify that. Here we have completed our all the implantation inside this plot and the, let's execute this plot after this. So here we go let's execute it and we can see we have two different lines available inside a single plot the blue line is identify the sign values and after that we have the green value which is identifying the cause values we are getting against our this array which is generated by using a lin function lin space function inside the numpy and here we go we have two different types of lines in there and let's suppose uh, you want to generate another our list uh, array inside your numpy for example b is going to be here like b is equal to b is equal to np dot learn like I'm starting it from 10 to the 20 and how many values I want the hundred values from it and after that let's me uh, let me execute it and check what inside B and have different values like we have 10 point 10 10 10 10 10 oh sorry here I'm, I supposed to put 20 here and here we go and let me execute it again and here we can successfully execute it and if you want to plot it let me copy this code again and here we go let me copy yeah move on other line and here we go uh, we have a sign against a and what I, I, I want a sign against the B and how we can do we are going to just simply use another plot function where I'm putting the data with a V and numpy dot sign of B just like that and after that I also want the cause of this b right here the plot function again coming up and after that i'm going to put the data as the b and numpy dot 
goes on this beat. And here we have six. It is uh, changing its color like from blue to green because here the values of A are ending. The value of B are starting, so that's why I change its color. And uh, if you look at the previous graphs, we have only values from 0 to 10. But if you are going to watch here, we have values from 0 to 20, and it is uh, giving us different values in a sense by using different colors in there. As you can see, uh, the value of sine A have blue color inside it and cause A have red. But in there, it is switching its color to blue, uh, green and light blue, the ocean blue. So here we can check, we can easily use multiple lines inside a single plot by using multiple plot functions available inside our Matplotlib. In Matplotlib provide a huge variety of styling of a graph uh, in plots. Uh, we can adjust their scales, colors, line, type, and axis limits. Uh, as I told you, uh, we have a huge variety of uh, customization um, in Matplotlib. We can easily uh, customize our plot or graph according to our need. So now we will check how we can change the color and style for our line plot. And let's move to the uh, console here and check how we can do it like that. So first of all, uh, we need to change the color of our lines. Uh, let's suppose uh, here you can easily see uh, we have different types of colors available inside. But uh, not anywhere we are specifying any type of color uh, against any line present inside this graph. And now we will check how we can change the color of our lines inside our graph. Before starting with it, uh, we, uh, I want to tell you that uh, we have different types of techniques or method by using which we can update the color of our lines inside a plot. Uh, first of all, uh, we can uh, use a specific name of a, a color like the blue, red, green, whatever you want to uh, assign the uh, color to the line. So we can specify the color. We can also do that in matplotlib. And after that, uh, we can use the short color name. Like uh, here we have R, G, B, C, M, Y, K. Uh, we can use R for red, the G for green, and B for blue. And, and what else it is? It is predefined in the matplotlib and you, we can use these short keywords also for assigning color to our lines in matplotlib. And after that, we can also use the grayscale values like from between 0 to 1. We can use grayscale values, right? Well, which will be varying from 0 to 1. And let me put here, we can use as R, R here. And we can also use G and uh, we can use B and we can also use the C and after that K uh, we can use Y and what else the values and in there we can also specify the color like the red like I'm going to put the blue you can also specify the color by using the solid values inside the color attribute that we will look after these all types and after that if you want to use the hex code like the hexadecimal code for assigning the values to the uh, plot lines uh, like the colors you can also use the hex values in there also right uh, after that we can use the rgb tuple uh, like the rgb tuple which is also varying from 0 to 1 values will be vary from 0 to 1 in there and after that, uh, if you have any uh, knowledge about the HTML coloring scheme, you can also use this color scheme in there, like the HTML color scheme here. You can also use them. These are the different types of method by using which we can specify the color of our lines present inside our graph 
and by using any of them you can easily assign the values of color to your line right so now we will check how we can assign the values by using all this method to the uh, this plot uh, let me uh, copy this code here we don't want to write it again and again so here we go we have pasted it and after that uh, we have a parameter of color right and in this color uh, we can specify the value of our color which you want to assign this line let's suppose I want to assign the value like uh, let me put it a green here right and in the second uh, first uh, let me show you the attribute that it's both it like it is going to put uh, let me go down here and it will show us the color also it is a huge dog string available against this plot um, method here available in the matplotlib you can do anything of your uh, choice whatever you want you can do inside this so uh, for this you can check the doc string for this plot method and let me clear here the color and um, which is going to be equal like here I'm going to use the second type of which uh, from where we can use the shorthand keys for assigning the value like here I'm going to assign the red in this sign B right and after that I'm going to put the color by using the grayscale values like here I'm going to put the value in a way like here I will specify 0 0.75 which will be closer to the black the gray value and and the last part I'm going to use the color scheme here we have available in HTML color scheme like uh, here I will write the HTML color scheme name which is C H A R T R E U S E what the color first of all against the value a which is sign a well, we have assigned the green color to it yes it is giving us the green color as we have told it and after that uh, we have uh, against the cause of a here I assign the value closer to the gray which is 0 0.75 what if I, I want to put the one here and what result it is returning it is going to completely black and what if I uh, completely white and what if I want to put the zero here it will turn it into the blue like the dark gray here and you can easily see in the cause of a uh, we have put it the zero which is the grayscale value as I told you here and here it is telling us in the black or you can say gray color and after that moving toward our B value the sign of P which is colored red and here you can see we have the color red here of sign of B and after that we have a sign a HTML color which is char short form noun uh, which is uh, used uh, with the cause of B which is assigned to this line so this is how you can specify it, the color of your graph lines inside a specific graph change the type of this line like the dotted or dashed or solid colors uh, you can do it also in your matplotlib and here we are going to change type of line inside this graph okay uh, for this we also supported different types of line types inside our matplotlib we have solid dashed uh, dash dot or dotted line types uh, first of all let me tell you what type of things we have supported inside it the first type uh, which we have already seen the solid line which is solid line uh, which we have already seen which is by default assigned to a graph and after that uh, we have a dashed line uh, which is represented like this so after that we have a dash dot dash dot as its name is telling us 
uh, it is uh, going to put it like this uh, the dash and after that it will put the dot dash dot dash dash uh, it is not uh, specified in this line but whenever we are going to put it in our graph uh, you can clearly see the difference so after that we have a dotted line right like this so here we go and let's uh, execute it in our this plot and check how we can update it inside our plot first of all let me copy the code here and here uh, copy the same code that we have here and let's move into a new line here we go and in these uh, alliance uh, where we are plotting our plot we can use an other keyword which is line what s t y l e so this is another parameter that we can use to style our line inside our graph here i'm identifying that i want to change the line style of my this plot against the a of sine the value and well here as i told you i can use different types of styles for lining our plot so first of all i'm going to use the dashed right for here uh, we are going to use the keyword which is dashed right so this is the spellings of this um, the style after that i'm also going to put the line style here and which is going to be equal to the dotted right d o w t e d dotted and here we go and after that i'm going to a of course and here i will put the line style which is going to be equal with uh, let me use here uh, uh, dashed uh, we have used dashed we have used uh, dotted uh, we have dash dot here uh, we can uh, use it like d a f h d o t dot and in the last uh, we can assign it uh, like the default uh, whatever it is like the line style which is going to be equal to the solid one if we are not putting solid here it is by default solid in our plotting as you can see we have not specified any line type and it is assigning it by default the solid line so let's execute it and check what type of output it is going to return us and here we go we have the output against our inputs first of all we used a against the sign a where we are putting the dashed values uh, which is going to be like this uh, you can see the blue color here and here you can see we have a dashed line inside it after that we have the a cause here where we have the dash dot values and as you can see the red line here we have dot dash dot dash dot dash and we can see it in there after that we have assigned the dotted and here you can see it in a little green color uh, changing from blue to green it is dotted value and after this we have the b cause uh, which is a solid line by default and we have also specified it to be a solid line inside our graph here we are using our the complete name against it but if you want to use the shorthand keywords against it but you can also use it in just like this, let me copy the code here and i'm going to put it in there what you can use for your dash value you are just going to use the sign of minus operator in there it will identify the dashed value here let me comment down it here the dashed value like this okay and after that uh, let me change it into uh, dotted uh, here i am only uh, going to put a dotted value keyword like the minus and dot in there uh, which will be used for uh, let me comment down here it is dash dot value and here as all uh, know that for the solid uh, you can use a single 
Uh, we are using a single dash and this is for the solid line and here we go and let execute it and check is there any ambiguity inside this and after that if any error occur we will fix it let's go and we have successfully executed and here you can see we have dashed we have dash dot we have solid and we have dotted line available inside it uh, just a difference in the dotted here we are using a colon sign uh, which is quite uh, looks uh, different uh, regarding uh, other less uh, regard other less uh, we have the dashes here the dash dot here the dash for solid line but the difference is in only dotted uh, you need to take care of it right what if you want to do both the thing with in the same time like you want to assign the colors and the line type in a single line so how you can do that yes you can also do that uh, let me comment down here how to use line style and color at same time okay so now we will check how we can assign the color and the line type at the same time by using short keys for colors inside our line plot so here we go first of all we need to write the plt dot plot here we go and here we have the value a uh, which is going to be the sign of the a and after that i'm just going to put a single string in which i'm assigning the color and the line type for our specified lines against sign of a and for the si solid line and the color red i can use the solid line a symbol which is like this and after that i can specify the color like i want right here and i'm writing r here what right? you can also use a single quote here just like the string we can use single double or triple we can use the single quote also here and after that i'm going to plot the cause of it like the plot here we go we have the a and after that i'm going to put the cause against this a just like that and i'm specifying the color and the type of the line here here i want a dash dot line with the color like cyan like see okay and after that i'm putting the colon here to end the line here and let's execute it oh sign a sorry i, I forgot to put np dot here because it is the numpy's extension so we need to identify it here and after that let's execute it and here we go we have seen and the red line drawn in a solid and dotted line uh, you can also change it into the uh, dashed here and let's execute it and here we go we have a dashed and the dash dot line drawn inside it you can also change the color let me change it in the blue and let me change it into the black for the black we are going to use the k here and let's execute it and here we go we have the changed color and the specified line type burst uh, just by using a single line uh, we are uh, using the shorthand words for the color and for the line type here and here we go who, uh, how we can uh, this is how we can change our the line color and our line type uh, this is all about your styling uh, plot inside the matplotlib like a few values are going to be misplaced here and here at the edges in matplotlib uh, we have an other method by which we can easily uh, assign or uh, limit the axis available inside our plot uh, by simply using we can limit our axis uh, let me comment down here limit the axis we can also limit the axis inside our matplot figures so how we can do that 
uh, we are just going to use the two methods available inside our which is the xlim and after that we have y limit plt dot y limb just like that we can use these two functions or the method available inside our matplotlib uh, by using which we can easily uh, limit our axes. Uh, let's suppose I want to limit the axis uh, in this plot and how I can do that. Let me uh, limit the axis like I can use the plt dot xlam in which I will provide the values of the axis. Like here, um, we have the values from minus 1 to plus 1 and values from 0 to 10 and here I can uh, uh, simplify it. X is the, this line and for that I'm going to use the minus 1 to all toward like 12. Sorry, minus 1 and the 12. What it is actually doing, it is limiting my plot from minus 1 to 12 instead of 0 to 10. So after that, I'm going to use the plt dot ylim, uh, which is going y limb, uh, which is going to be equal from minus 1.5 to uh, 1.5. Right? You can also write 2 in there also. Let me uh, place the 2 here. Uh, it will increase the volume of our axis. Uh, let me finish it here. And here we go. We have upload dot from uh, minus uh, from uh, minus one to all twelve and minus two to the two. And if you want to do the some changing in the current plot you have drawn, uh, you can easily do it like that. Uh, let me copy it from here. Uh, from here, yes. Control C. And I want to plot it. I just want uh, what I'm going to do. I'm just plotting it right there. So what it will do? It will plot these plots. And after that, uh, I need to remove this here. And after that, it will assign the limits against its axis. Here we go. We have successfully executed it in lab. We can see. Now we have all which looks quite good than this graph. Here we can easily see our values are starting from 1 and 0 and after that it is uh, going to be ended like minus 1 in there. Uh, let me change the values like the minus 1.5 from 1.5 to make, make it a little smaller in there just like this. We can see we have all the values inside it and we can easily adjust the axis of our plot inside the matplotlib. We don't have any values written inside there what values are these and what values are these and what plot it is and uh, this term is uh, known as the labeling in plot. We will learn about the labeling and after that, uh, we will check how we can use different types of accessing uh, our axis or limiting our axis inside the matplotlib. And we will learn about some gadgets inside the matplotlib in our further videos. So now uh, we are moving to add more functionalities in our plot. So first of them is label your plot. What is labeling in the plots? It is a naming technique in matplotlib by which uh, we can assign the labels to the plots and also to its axis. It is just like uh, whenever you are drawing a plot, you need to identify that which graph or plot is it you need to tell the title of this graph after that you have two type of axes like x and y x so uh, you also need to name these axes for that purpose uh, you are also doing labeling video graph and after that if you want to identify different types of line or elements showing inside the graph and uh, you can do 
it by using legends in it. Let's move to word console and check how we can do it in our Matplotlib by using Python. So now we are going to start labeling our flows. Before moving it, uh, moving toward it, have a look on the previous graph we have. You can see <coughs> we don't have any type of title inside it. Like it is not identifying that which plot is it. What is the name of this plot or the figure? So uh, by using this naming or labeling technique, uh, we also going to do the name, put the name in there or on the top of this graph. After that, we will write the name of these axes like which values are lying on the x axis and which values are lying on the y axis. And after that, we also have another thing uh, which is known as legends, uh, which is identifying that which type of values are these. So uh, these blocks will be put inside this uh, figure to identify that. So let's move toward it and uh, draw a simple plot first of all. So as you know, for this purpose, we need to move toward plt.plot. <clears throat> and in this plot, uh, we need to put some values. Uh, let's see what type of values we already have us taken like we have array A and uh, we also have B inside it and where is it yes here we go uh, so check where we have uh, assigned these values to him. yes here we have B here and we also have A inside it so just like that uh, just provide the A to it and after that what we need to provide we need to provide the alternative value from which we want to find the relation of uh, the values in this graph. So here I'm going to use np.sign of a. Right? <clears throat> so let's move to another line. And after that, here we have a beautiful function against plt, which is known as title. Hit tap here and it will show me suggestions it is moved moved it inside it we have title method present inside our matplotlib by which we can assign the title of this graph like i am printing the sign values so i will provide the name this is a sign graph here we go so this is how can i can write the title on my graph and let's execute it and check is it working here we go we have the title on our graph you can easily see here this is a sign graph so this is how you can put the title on your graph you can change it to anything like that graph one uh, which is of sign so let's execute it and it is showing me the right thing that I write it inside it. So what if you want to name the label on your x-axis and y-axis values? So how you can do that? Just after that, uh, you can also use an other method present inside matplotlib, which is x label. Hit tab here and it will move toward this. And in this method, you are also going to write a string that you want to be shown on your x-axis. So on the x-axis, we have the values of a. So I'm writing a inside here. And after that, I also need to assign the values on the y-axis. And for this, I will use the y label here. As just we use the y lim. So just like that, we also have y label here. And in this... Uh, we are going to put the sign of a just like that yeah. so let's execute it and analyze how it is working so here we go we can see here we have a graph drawn just uh, below our cell this cell right so in this cell uh, we have a title inside here which is graph one minus sign okay so after that, uh, we have A written on our below side, which is the X axis. And on the left side, we have sign A written in this graph, 
which is uh, identifying the values of y axis right so this is how we can label our plot easily in matplotlib let's expand this example and put a b sign also here like i'm going to show, put like plot plt dot plot here and after that i'm going to put the value of b inside it and p dot sign of b just like that and let me execute it and check out what it is giving us it is moving toward a single line but if i want to convert it into cos so what it is giving me you can see the difference uh, it is not joining with each other because the values are not continuous here as you can see where we have declared the values of p which is starting from 10 but inside a our values are starting from 0 to 10 so here the values are from 10 to 20 so uh, i'm not using a continuous values and let me add an other thing here let me copy this file here and after that let me paste here i'm just changing the values of the variable that we are storing inside it and here we have a here just like the case uh, we drawn multiple a's and b's values inside our previous graphs so the same thing i'm doing here just like that here we go so now we have a graph drawn inside it but if uh, what if you want to add the description type thing inside this graph to identify which color line is identifying which thing so how you can do that yes you can do that by using legends right so here we will look about legends right for this uh, first of all uh, we are using the same graph that we have drawn inside here so after that uh, we need to uh, do some modification for this as you can see here uh, we are what we are doing we are writing a new line and writing the same code again and again and it is too much messy in my eyes so uh, let me shorten it like make it little bit shorter for this i'm going to use the plot the plot and after that here i will write the values i have a and i want to find the sign of a relation with it and p dot right because it's a numpy function so after that as i told you we can specify the line type and the color for any graph right here i am putting like uh, i want a solid line let me convert it into dash a dashed line and after that i am using the color like g first we are trying with only the solid lines so after that we need to also specify the label inside here the label right the label which is going to be called the sign of a right it will uh, uh, it will identify the values like the label will be of the sign a because we are writing our code on the behalf of the values inside a or a uh, which is from 1 to 10 and after that i will write the code for array b which is containing some different values like b and we have np dot cause and after that i'm going to put it like b so i also need to specify the line type and the color for this line and in there i will be using the dotted line uh, which color will be going to be black after that i need to specify the label here which is going to be equal cause of b right i'm not doing a lengthy code like uh, just like this i'm just writing two line code in which i'm using that line type inside it i am assigning the label inside it just like that and after that i'm going to work my next line uh, where i will use a axis type like which type of axis i want to be used in my graph 
as I told you we have different types of axis that we can use in our graph to customize our graph so here I will use the solid one like sorry axis axis and after that in between this I will use equal type right so after that here I have completed that I want a plot in which I want two type of values printed like which ones uh, first of all will be a sign a and after that we have the cos b values in this graph and we have labels and the line types also assigned with their colors and here I am specifying the axis type of our plot which is going to be equal equal type right and after that I need to put some legends inside it for this purpose I have a simple method which is going to be leg legend here we go and here I need to put the semicolons to make a break here and let me execute it here we go so as you can see and now we have a different dialogue in here which is going to be equal like sign a and sign b what it is identifying in here it is telling us all the green line a solid line printed inside this graph are the values of sign a and the, all the dotted values which is of black color and is all are of course b as we have um, as we have told inside the code uh, we are going to use the sign of a which is going to be the label of sign a and after that we are going to use the label cos b so here you can also specify it's uh, uh, like the title the axis y axis and x axis uh, just like here uh, we specified it mm, we also uh, can write it here like plt dot title hit tab and title will be new graph new graph right and after that I'm going to specify its y axis the y label x label and the y label here we go on the x side we have the values like a and b and on the y label we have the values like plt dot y we have label here and inside it we will use the values like the sign and cos right so let me execute it and check it is working and yes it is working fine it is telling us your plot name is new graph and after that on the y-axis you have the values of sine and cos and on the x-axis you have the values of a and b and inside the graph the values of sine and cos are represented by the green and the black dotted line so this is how you can uh, completely label your graph inside matplotlib by using some few methods available inside our matplotlib by using them uh, we have assigned the title to this graph axis is to the graph and we also put it some legends in this graph in this matplotlib uh, you can also change the location of this legend inside this graph if you want to change the location of this uh, legend inside the graph you can also do it it simply for this purpose you simply need to use an other parameter which is of location shorthanded as loc which is going to be equal cool like that if i want to uh, change the location of this legend to the left side and i can write here upper upper left right so after that i can execute it simply and here we go we have moved our legend to the left upper side and you can also change it into the multiple directions you can look the dog string of your this method like legend so if you scroll down uh, you can see uh, we have the location parameter here 
in which we have different values like the best which is a zero upper right upper left lower left lower right right center left the center and the center left all these are the positions or the location you can use for putting your legend inside your graph uh, let's uh, change it to the bottom like uh, here we have the bottom like lower center or upper center i'm going to put it into the lower center just like that you can also use the eight here as a shorthand for this and here we go and let's execute it and check is it working so yes it changed its location to the lower center which is here so just like that you can also use some other functions in present inside legend that you can look here in its doc string and you can do modification according to your needs in matplotlib let's make an other modification in this legend here i want to remove the frame of this legend like it is looking so weird to me so i want to change the frame of this uh, legend like i don't want to use any type of frame so how how i can remove the frame inside matplotlib of this legend and after that i want to convert it into the multiple uh, columns like that it is uh, looking to me in the rows like uh, up and down so i want to change it uh, for this purpose you have another keyboard a keyword which is a number of column and call right uh, here you can uh, specify the number of columns you want to use for your legend and uh, in this case i'm using two in there and after that i have another method which is going to be the parameter which is going to be equal like frame on right and i'm going to move it into the false by default it is true so here i am going to false it like turning off the uh, this boundary you can say frame inside this legend so let me execute it and check is it working so here you have look it is nice now because we have removed it frame and after that we have converted it into the two columns now it's looking so good so just like that you can make um, many of the changing inside this matplotlib legend so that's why we are using matplotlib for our data visualizations so let's move further like now so here we go we have completed our labeling topic in matplotlib in which we have seen we have covered the title part and after that we how we can the label axis of our graph and uh, how we can add legends and how we can modify the legend inside our graph by using matplotlib in python right so move further uh, now we will look after gotchas inside the matplotlib so what is gotchas in object oriented interface of plotting instead of calling functions individually you can do it inside a single function yes i'm saying the right thing every time we are writing our code we are writing our code again and again calling our plot method again and again and calling a single method or function from this method and calling them individually like whenever i want to use the y label i'm calling it from the plot dot y label when i want to put the title i'm calling the same thing again and again this is not the best scenarios in the programming you need to use the shortest way and the efficient way present inside your program or the language is uh, what it is supporting inside it so we will uh, we are going to look the gochis uh, we have available in the matplotlib to make our code more optimized and reduce our redundancy of using the functions again and again in our code so now let's move to our console and check how we can use the gadgets inside our matplotlib first of all i'm going to i uh, create an axis inside our plot uh, plot dot axis after that i want to use this with the plot like i want to plot a plot inside the here i am using the same values that we have inside our a 
and in this I'm going to use the same thing like the sign for this a right so after that for using the gutches inside of a matplotlib we have an other method available which is going to be set right the name of this method is set by using which we can uh, we don't need to call again and again of same same function individually we are going to move all the methods and parameters inside a single method which is offset here we can limit our graph like I want to limit the graph with x limb which is going to be equal x limb right so here I'm uh, putting it like 0 to 10 uh, let me uh, do it like 12 12 and start it from minus 1 right put a comma here and after that you can also specify the y limit here just like that we have already present a parameters inside it and here I can also specify the type like here for now I'm putting it from minus 1 to 1.5 minus 1.5 to 1.5 right so after that I'm moving toward another parameter which is going to be x level if you are putting that tab you can see each and every parameter present inside this set function or method so here we have the x label from where we are going to put the label like we have the a values here and after that we can also do it with the y label just like that so here i'm identifying that we have the sign of a present inside here so the last thing we have uh, we have inside it the title for the graph so i am putting the t and hit tab i have suggestion of table title and i can put the title in here so title will be a new graph right so here i am ending my block of this code and let me execute it and here we go we have a plot drawn just like that we have the title here the axis is here the value inside here and we also set it the limit of this graph besides of doing it simply calling again and again a same function i'm using a set method which is providing us the huge varieties of parameters available inside it by which we can use them at the same time in a single method we don't need to use same uh, method again and again by calling it individually we are do doing all this stuff inside a single method also check by pressing shift plus tab how many types of parameter it is supporting inside it we have adjustable uh, uh, filter alpha anchor and just like that we have the labels and frame on the face color we have picker position title transform x bond label x limb and you can use any parameter that you want to perform any type of modification inside your graph you can simply use this set method by besides using uh, your and uh, your uh, functions individually calling inside your code you can use this single uh, method present inside matplot which is set and this phenomena is known as gotchas inside matplotlib so now we are going to learn another type of plot available inside the matplotlib which is a scatter plot so what is scatter plot in matplotlib it is also the same plot like line plot and giving the same information about the relationship between two variables or two arrays present in our dataset instead of drawing uh, drawing lines in plot we use dot circles or different symbols to represent relations yes it is the same plot like the simple line plot that we are recently using inside our programs so this is the same plot but different in those two plots like the sc uh, scatter and the line plot in the scatter plot we don't have a line you we can use the line inside it also but in the scatter plot we are not drawing any line inside our plot it is just representing the values like putting the values 
on the specific point where it need to be so let's have a look on our console and check how we can write our scatter plot in matplotlib for this purpose i'm going to take a array like a new array uh, for example i'm going to use the simple a which is going to be equal numpy dot lin space here we go and after that i'm using the values from 0 to 10 and the value the number of values i needed is like 50 right and after that i'm going to take the result of these a values like the sign of these a values in our b variable which is going to be equal like np dot sign of a right so now it's turn to plot our plot in our console so for that purpose i'm using plt.plot and in this method i will pass these two values like the values of a the values of b which we have derived from our a or a by putting the sign method on it so just like that i'm going to give these two values to our plot method which is a and b right so after that i all need to specify the symbols i told you we use different types of symbols like circles stars or dots i need to specify here what type of symbol i want to be shown on my graph so in this scenario i am using o here o is representing circles inside our sketcher plot right so after that we have another method or parameter uh, available inside the plot which is going to be the color here we can select the color of our plot right so after that i'm going to give the color like blue right so here i'm using the uh, semicolons which is ending this block of the code and going to print our plot and let's execute it and we can see we have no line inside this graph so what we have we have few different symbols which is starting from zero and moving towards zero point like two five uh, zero point zero two five like it is crossing 0 0.5 and moving all toward 1 and after that it is again decreasing and moving toward minus 1 it is showing me the same relation that we have inside our line graph so difference is here we don't have a continuous line we have continuous elements printed in a line uh, which is representing the exact values exact position inside our graph so this is how we can draw a scatter plot inside our matplotlib just like the line plot you can also modify this scatter plot that we are going in our next examples so just like that if i want to change this into the dashed lines i can use this symbol here and after executing it we can see we have converted into a dashed line sorry uh, so yes you can see let me change it like again oh and after that it is printing me like that so now i'm going to tell you that how many types of uh, symbols we can use it is many but i just am uh, going to show you a few of them so for this purpose i'm just going to write a simple code in which we are plotting the random values inside our plot with different symbols and colors inside it for this purpose first of all i'm going to use the numpy's method which is random from which i'm going to against a few random state values for this purpose i am declaring a variable which is going to be a and equal to np dot random just like that we have the module random here and after that we have random state like random state r a n t u m s t tab here and here we go we have random state in there and after that i am putting the zero here so what i am actually doing i am creating a list uh, in this a variable 
which is gained all through the numpy random module so after that i'm going to put a for loop here in which i am going to take the sign from this like going uh, here we i'm going to provide a list from which i will take a simple sign from this list and use it inside my for loop and here i'm going to use a few things like o here and after that i'm going to put the dot here like that and after that i'm going to put the comma here just like that and after that i'm going to use ix here and here uh, and other thing like the plus just like that and after that i'm going to use the v here you uh, i i know you are confused now but these are all the different types of symbol that we can use in our scatter plot so that's why i'm declaring everything inside this array uh, this list from where my loop will use each of these values to print it inside my function so for, for loop sorry right and after that i have the value like the uh, smaller than sign and the greater than sign also i can use it here like that and after that i'm going to put the s here yes you can use x just like the x here so after that and other keyword like the d i think it's okay now so here i'm put getting inside the body of my loop where i'm going to use the plt dot plot method of my matplotlib in which i'm going to use my a value which i am getting from the random state like right? so here i am going to use the a dot ran function we have the ran function here and in this function we are passing the values like how many values are how many data i want to be imported inside my plot like i want to use like uh, three value for each right and after that i am going to write an other thing like that a dot ran and here i'm typing the same thing like three and after that i'm going to print my sign here the sign right so after the sign i'm going to put some labels in there so for this i will use the label uh, method avail available inside my plot which is going to be hit tab here it is not getting anything just like write it manually and inside this label which is going to be equal like the f string here and in there i will be like the sign is going to be equal to sign here we go we have completed our for loop in which uh, i'm just plotting the symbols like the random values generated from this a the three value I want from it, the three value I want from it, and after that I am going to assign the sign which sign it is going to use. Just like that, the sign here it is taking one by one the circle, the dot, the comma, the x, and after that I'm going to put the label inside there. The label is going to be like the sign is equal to sign, which sign I'm using, and it is going to print it here. Just like that, and I'm moving outside my loop. And here I will uh, going to use a legend method here, just like that. So in this legend method, I'm going to use an other parameter available inside it, which is num point. Just like that, the num points each is going to be equal to one. And after that, I'm going to set the limit for this plot, like the x limit. Plt dot x limit so here we go and it is going to be equal with 0 to uh, like 2 and here we go putting colon here to end the block of this code and let's execute it and here we go you can have a look on this graph uh, first of all move toward our legend uh, where we have written which symbol is identifying which thing First of all, we used our O, which is for the solid circle. And after that, we have used a dot, 
which is uh, assigned uh, against with dot which is the green color and after have we have co comma here you can have a look you have slightly a little dot of red color and after that we have the sign x which is representing x in real with the lime green color and after that we have the plus sign which is also identifying the plus we have the sign of v which is showing a triangle with different uh, different directions in our legend graph so you can have a look on the uh, smaller than and greater than sign s is identifying a square inside this graph and after that we have d which is representing the diamond uh, sign in this graph and you can have a look at uh, these all the values are generated randomly and it is assigning this value inside this graph and what if i uh, want to change the value of the rand here uh, let me move it to the 10 and after that let me move it to the 10 and let's execute it and check what change is going to be happen you can see their quantity are increased and they are looking more efficiently and the number of these signs are the item or the data you can say because we are generating random data by using the numpy method or module it is changing the values inside our graph so this is how you can use a scatter plot inside the matplotlib uh, for now we are just using simple examples just for understanding in the future we are going to use the real-time data on that real-time data we are going to apply these plots in real time and we will check what changing are going to be happen and in these examples we will learn in more advanced level so how many further changing we can do with our data like in in these uh, these uh, examples we will learn about the data wrangling data cleaning and after that we will go into the data visualization in which we are using so many different types of plots in which we will use the 3d plots also which is the most interesting part inside it so stay with us uh, we will learn more in advanced uh, topics about the real data and real time implementation of this data so stay with us remember i told you the difference between the scatter plot and the line plot is offline in line plot uh, we are not looking at any uh, different type of symbols inside this plot we are just looking at the line in here what if you want a line inside your scatter plot can you do this yes you can do it easily inside your scatter plot so for this purpose i'm just going to use a plt dot plot method here in which i will call few things like first of all i'm going to use the a and after that we will use the b a and b are the values that we have generated from our lim function of numpy from 0 to 10 of 50 values so we have assigned the values like the a and b is the sign of these a's and after that i need to specify the line and the uh, symbol that i want in my scatter plot for here i'm putting a third r parameter which is going to be dash or the minus operator and o and after k just like that and let me complete my code here and after that let's execute it and you can have a look we have error here what it is telling you also need to uh, learn about the error debugging how you can remove your errors because it is a part of your programming if you don't know how to remove your errors uh, you are not a good developer or a programmer so what it's telling x and y must have the same first dimension but have shape 1 and 50 so let's check what we have inside the a and b oh here's a mess in a we have some random values and i supposed to be like these values so let me copy this code from here to generate a and b values again inside it and putting in this code here we go so what it is doing now it is getting a lin space which is a it is a line from 0 to 10 it is printing giving me the 50 values on these values i put it the sign operator from a numpy 
and after that I'm going to print my plot here and let's execute it and now you can have a look we have a plot a scatter plot but we also have line in it so now you can have a look you can also draw your line inside your scatter plot if you remember I told you in the uh, introductory part of the scatter plot you can put the line inside your scatter plot as well so this is how you can put the line inside your scatter plot so what if you want to change it like the double does it going to work yes it is going to work as you know in the styling of our plots the single dash is representing a solid line the double dash is going to be like the dashed and if you want to like the dash and comma here uh, like the dash dot and it is also going to be working in there for just for the line uh, it's uh, just it's not a legit thing but you are using a hack inside it to draw a line in your plots and here we go we have the line inside here so here we have learned how we can draw a scatter plot uh, by using different sign uh, and different shapes inside your scatter plot and after that how you can do a little modification inside your scatter plots we will move toward how we can customize our scatter plot inside the matplotlib matplotlib is providing huge variety of customization facilities inside it we can change the shape and the appearance of the graph in the scatter plot as we have done a simple um, example in our exercise where we change our line type like uh, we are putting a solid line in our scatter plot and after that we are putting the dashed line and the dash dot line inside the scatter plot and just like that we can do more modification by using matplotlib in scatter plot so let's move toward our console and check how we can do it for this purpose i'm going to use this same graph like the same data so here we go the plot plt.plot and in this plot i'm going to give few values like a and b inside here and after that i'm specifying the type of the line and the shape inside it which is going to be equal like the solid line and after that it is giving me the p type of shapes so after that i have another parameter available inside my plot which is of the color i can also uh, choose the color of my data that is going to be representing inside the plot and here i'm going to use the color of my data which is going to be like red because it is more prominent in our graphs right and after that i have an other important parameter inside our plot which is of the marker size what is marker actually markers are the sign we are just using the sign here actually the technical term which is used for these dots are the markers what type of markers we want to use inside our scatter plot so here i have a parameter like the marker what is this markdown no it is mar we are not going to use the marker and we markdown we are going to use marker size just like that okay and here i can specify the marker size i'm putting it in the fifth day so after that we have the oh, another parameter which is line width here we go we have a line width l i n e sorry here we have a mistake the line width which is going to be equal like the four we are not going to uh, give greater values to the line width because it may change the appearance of our plot in a bad manner just like that I'm going to give an other parameter inside there which is the marker face color yes I can change the face color of my marker uh, you can assume it like you have a square in your screen it just uh, if you want to change the color of your square inside the color of the square will be changed and you want the boundary of your scale in another color it will be the black or the gray or the red that you have assigned but you can change the face color of your marker it's going to be equal the marker face color 
face color be equal to uh, here I need to move on to use the white here and after that I can also specify the edge color of this marker for this I have the marker edge color these are the simple parameters that we can use in our uh, language like the in English uh, sorry the not the color I am going to assign the so, uh, yeah I'm going to assign the color edge color which is going to be equal like the black here we go and after that I have another important parameter from where I can specify the markers edge width how much weight you want for your marker as you know what is marker markers are the symbols that we are going to use inside our scatter plot so here I will use the marker edge width here we go and we have the marker as width which is going to be equal like 2 come outside your plot method here and have a look what we have assigned inside our plot method first of all we have two values like the a and b which is a is storing an other array which is the actual array and after that b is the array which is uh, derived from the a by putting operation sign on a and after that we have a, a, a specifying the type of line and after that we are assigning the color to the plot like the red the line plot and after that uh, we are putting another parameter which is the marker size here I'm specifying the size of the marker how much bigger or smaller I want the marker inside my graph after that I have the line width from which I can specify the line width the line which is drawn inside my graph just like the line plot and the previous example just like this and here I'm specifying the line width and after that I move toward the marker face color where I'm specifying the marker face color to white and after that I move toward the marker edge color the edge like the boundaries of this marker as I given you an example of the square the boundaries of square of different color inside of this uh, square is of different color just like the same scenario we are using here the white and the black inside white outside black just like the boundaries black and after that we have an other parameter available inside which is the marker edge width which we have assigned to we don't want a much width in our markers so here we go and after that I'm uh, just going to uh, l limit our our y and x axis like the plt dot y limit which is the function inside the plot and here we go we are setting the limit from minus 1.5 to 1.5 and here we go and let executing after executing specify the semicolon to end this code of block and let's execute it here we go you can see we have red line as I told it I want the color of line red and the line should be solid just like that okay and after that I assign the marker size which is the 15 and let, it is too, quite big as you can see let me move it to like like let me use a 10 here and the line width is like 4 which is looking too bigger than my expectation so I also going to decrease it and let's check what changing are going to be made here and yes you can see we have a marker which is of the P like for P we are using a five-sided hexagon here and we can also use the for example what type of things we are using here like the diamond shape for D uh, let me using D here and converting into dash dot just like that and here let's go and here you can see we have successfully changed the marker of our graph which is going to be like the diamond shape and after that we have changed the line type inside our graph 
and this is how you can modify or customize your graph the scatter plot inside matplotlib let me ask you a simple question what we are doing we are printing our scatter plot here have you seen any single word that we have used uh, like scatter in our code no the scatter is nowhere how is it possible we are drawing our scatter plot and scatter keyword is not inside our code so uh, we are just using the plot method here just like the plot we also have a specified method present inside the matplotlib for the scatter plot yes we have but we are not using we are just printing our scatter plot by using our plot method yes you can also uh, use the plot method to draw your scatter plot and here we have a specific method which is scatter plt dot sca double t e r scatter function is also available inside our matplotlib which we can use to draw our scatter plot yes and let's hit shift and tap to check what type of parameter it is going to accept from us to draw a scatter plot first of all it is a y x and y the values like the a and b we have inside our previous examples we have sc the marker c map the normal and v min v max alpha line width and you can check the doc string for this so here we have the marker size and position like s is identifying the marker size and c is the marker color here and uh, after that we have a scalar or square of n numbers to be mapped to color by using a c, a c map and n norm so here uh, we have the different types of parameters available inside this scatter plot because this is specified for the scatter plot so why we are not using it let's use it so here we have two values like a and b inside it and after that we can also specify our marker inside here and which is going to be equal to like d the diamonds right I'll, let me use the plus for this time right so here i am using the marker as plus and after that let me check out what it is returning me yes it is returning me a scatter plot where it is containing the plus as the shape inside there and printing whole plot in there so this is how you can and after that as we have seen the few parameters like the size and the c we can also do too many modifications by using them by built-in scatter function so there is no different in there if you want to print it like with the plot you can also do it here like the plt dot plot and after that here i'm print giving two values and the marker size i'm putting it like the plus and let me execute and you can see we have the same plot just like this so what is the difference between them as we are using both uh, methods inside our program in matplotlib like we are also using the plot inside our matplotlib for printing the scatter plot and we can also use a built-in uh, a built-in a uh, scatter function available inside your uh, matplotlib so why we are not using scatter we are mostly using the plot method inside it what is the reason the plot the scatter and the plt dot plot are two different methods available in matplotlib but they have a difference in them plt scatter method have ability to render each point against each data point on the other hand plot dot plot is making the essential clone for each point to another and done only once for the entire data set as per the uh, definition you have seen the explanation what the scatter is doing scatter is uh, rendering each data entity like uh, we are providing the thousands of values to the scatter it is kind of taking the each 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 value like the each individual values taking and doing rendering or that value and giving result to us 
on the other hand what plot is drawing it is making the a clone uh, to another point and use uh, all the clone for once on a single data set so in the scatter we need to do more processing and in the plot it is uh, running more efficiently and saving our time and performance in our system so plot is the best thing to use inside our scatter plot because it is providing us more efficiency 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 and after that if we are using going to use a scatter method inside it we need more computational power to perform it